Hi, I'm Marcy Dagman, the Aspiring Gardener, and today we're going to talk about hummingbird and butterfly plants. As you can see, um, I've got kind of a mix of flowers in here, and some are, of course, good for pollinators, butterflies, hummingbirds, and they all come in, but there are certain ones that each like better. Now, this is the red bee balm, which is the number one hummingbird flower. There is no other flower in my garden that they visit more. In fact, once they come in, if I've got nectar feeders, they go to them very little. So if you have this, the opportunity to plant Monarda didyma, red bee balm, in your area, you definitely need this flower. This one gets a little bit of mildew later in the season. It's Cambridge Scarlet. So if that's a problem, you can always try Jacob Klein, which is also red. It's a little bit taller, but it's just as beautiful. Um, either way, they're worth it because it's usually later in the season when the mildew comes and it doesn't come back the next year. So you just cut them back when they look bad. The number one butterfly plant in my garden is lavender, which is easy to grow. It's so nice. I love it for so many reasons. As you can see, bumblebees like it real well too. And all day long, you can find the little tiny uh, orange butterflies. Now I also have a lot of cone flowers, which are not blooming yet, but that is the number one swallowtail butterfly plant I have. Um, there are others that are really good, Jupiter's beard. This is a uh, Russian sage, which gets a purple spike and will also be all, uh, an attractant. Over here I have Liatra spicata, which is gay feather, which is a purple spike also. So I have a lot of purple flowers. Butterflies like purple, they like yellow. Hummingbirds like red. Now once they come into your garden, they'll go to other things too. But what you wanna do is put the right colors and the right types of plants to bring them in. And think of it as a habitat. If it's a little more crowded and a little bit messier, it's gonna look more like nature to animals and wildlife. So if you really wanna have a lot of activity in your garden, don't try to be so perfect and so tidy, and you'll have a lot more hummingbirds and butterflies in your garden.